Hello, hello. Well, for t this month's Technique Tuesday, I thought I would go show you something that's really popular right now. Um, you see a lot of people are making what they're saying is um, faux rice paper and these different kinds of things um, using napkins and um, gel medium. So I thought we'd kind of go over that. I've always just called these skins. So I'm going to show you a variety of skins, paper skins, acrylic skins. So um, the first thing I'm going to show you is using heavy gel medium in the glossy. I don't care for this, but I do want to give you a rounded idea of what you uh, get from that. So I have a piece of, this is like children's craft paper. It's very porous. Um, I'm going to do a sample using that. I'm going to use a sample just doing regular craft paper, brown craft paper. Um, this is a napkin that has been separated. And this is a paper towel that has paint on it that's been separated from the second layer. And this is rice paper uh, that has been printed with an image on it. It's a flower. It's hard to see. Um, I'm going to do these in glossy. So I have a piece of wax paper down and I'm going to do these right onto the wax paper or you can use um, like a uh, page protector works well, really well, or packaging, but plastic works well as well. So, so the first thing you need to do is lay down some of the glossy medium, and you're going to lay that down on your surface, and then you're going to just lay your paper over the top. More is always better on this. You Sometimes some of the paper will soak some of it up. And um, so you just wanna make sure you're gonna get a nice peel, a nice skin off of that. I like to come in afterwards and lift it up. Flip it over. A bit much. More is always better. Okay. So we got that. This is just our regular craft paper. This is not as porous as this craft paper is. This is almost like construction paper, but it does come in a roll. This is the tissue paper that has been separated from its other layer. I don't worry about when it flips over. This one may be hard to get up and flip. And when you do it, you might get some fold over or some break off. That was what I was worried about. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick this in here. I really love that look of the layers. And I'm not going to brush over it again. I'm just going to leave it as is because it is pretty thin. Okay, this is paper towel. It's a little bit stronger than tissue paper, but not by much once it's been moistened. And it, remember, it's only a single ply because we did take off the other layer. I'm going to fold this over since I missed my wax paper. Double layer. And this is that tiny little bit of rice paper. 
It is much stronger than tissue paper or paper towel. So you should have no problems lifting that up. Okay, so those are done in the glossy. And now I'm gonna do them in gel medium. And so this is matte gel medium, not the glossy. Okay, so I've got the same papers. This time I'm gonna start with the uh, with the same I'm gonna start with the same this is the children this the uh, light colored craft paper Okay, so now I'm gonna put this aside to dry. And now, while this is drying, I'm going to show you a couple methods of doing some skins, some acrylic paint skins. Okay, so I have my page protector here and I have some acrylic paint and you know what made me think of this was I save all these paint bookers and these essentially are acrylic paint skins. They're just shaped in odd formations from how the paint comes out of the bottle. And um, I think that's pretty cool. Like here's a little mini one. A little mini one so I save them because I like to use them so one way that you can do this is if you put an image behind your plastic that you can see I'm trying to find one now that I just said it out loud without thinking about this in advance um, let's say An image it's a small one but I think I can do this um, you can put out some paint and move that paint into that shape and it will form this is gonna be pretty crude I'm not even using a brush. I'm just using a palette knife, as you can see, but it's gonna be the general shape of that triangle. And I've got the paint pretty thick. You saw the blob I put out, and I'm just, I'm not even gonna worry that it's it is uh, equal in equal parts. You can look through here and kind of see that it's thinner in areas because you can see through it better. This will naturally level a little bit, um, but it doesn't necessarily, it's not gonna necessarily level it completely. So that's one thing way that you can make a skin and then you let this dry. You can, squirrel out paint and make a form. You can take multiple colors and see, here's a paint booger, which is just a skin. You can, let's do it right here, lay out some paint
two different colors. a mark using those two different colors with just a bit of blend in between. Another thing that you can do is use a stencil. So when doing this you kind of want to get you're, you want to really build that up in there. You want it pretty thick. Um, if, you're, if your skin is too thin, as it dries, it'll be more challenging to get up um, off of your substrate, in this case, the plastic. So there's one, a couple in the yellow. Let's make a couple in the purple. Another thing that you can do with skins is you can use your texture mediums. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this around and use this side over here and I'm going to show you doing the same thing with some texture mediums. So I have some basics coarse texture gel which is an essence sand paste and I'll list up here um, how to make your own sand paste. Another thing you can do is you can use your gloss medium or your matte gel medium. It'll be a little bit harder with that. This is just thicker, um, but you can use a real thick matte gel medium. We'll try this. We'll just try this. I'm going to try and get it. Oh, that'll be interesting. Get a little color in there. Okay. All right, and what you're gonna wanna do is you are gonna wanna pull up your stencil so you can get it nicely washed. And you can see we had a lot of bleed out, but that might be really interesting. So this is gonna take a while to dry and you want this to be completely dry. So patience is uh, a key here um, when doing this, cause it, is, it can, you do have to be patient to let things dry. So we're going to let that dry along with our paper skins and I'm going to go clean off my stencil and once all this is dry, it may take up to 24 hours depending on um, how much um, humidity you have where you are. Um, just set it aside and uh, come back to it. All right, so these have all dried. 
These are the glossy ones on this side and the matte on this side. So the glossy, um, this one I had a hard time. This is the tissue paper and you can see, hopefully, you can see what doing, making a tissue paper into a skin does. You can layer this up on top of stuff and it really will change some color it's almost like making a glaze, doing glazing, but you can have it in a specific shape. So you can cut your tissue into a specific shape, and then you can you can even tra uh, use a stencil on your tissue paper, cut it out, make an uh, a specific shape of something that you need. Like I could have done an X or something and then make it into a skin using the matte gel or the gel medium which either the the matte or the shine the glossy and then you can then take it and use it on another piece and use it as a collage layer because isn't that cool these are both purples and that would look really cool being put down and so I would go in if I wanted to use this on here I could lay this down I just put my gel matte medium on and then add this it's light enough you could use fluid medium to adhere it and it's like substance so it's gonna adhere well with each other that is how that kind of a skin could be used um, this is the paper towel and it doesn't get as, I have a little piece of wax paper staying stuck to it. Let's see if I can get that off. But it's not as um, see-through as the tissue paper is, but in areas where there's no color, it definitely is. So you can see some of that through in the, the non, colored areas and you can still get a real good hint of that coming through uh, and this would go well with this because it has light colors so you could collage that on top there are a lot of fun to use skins for collage fodder so this is the um, this is the rice paper with an image that was printed on it. It is less see-through than even either of these two, the tissue or the, or the um, paper towel. And I don't use these very much, although it is kind of nice. I mean, you could have used this without be it being a skin, but you can make them. Um, and then this is the brown craft paper. And you're probably thinking, well, why would you make a skin of that? It doesn't have see-through properties. The fun thing about doing this is that you could have colored this. You could have colored this with like even the Ranger, um, the different Ranger sprays um, and then carefully applied the gel medium over the top of it, that would make those non-water soluble by doing that. And then you could add that over and, and you could collage with it. Um, that's a possibility for that, at, like this one is. Now this one has um, color that has been added to it and I think that these, this yellow, these are probably marabou because it didn't, um, when I put the gel medium on this paper, it didn't bleed in any way. So that tells me these were not Ranger products, which are water soluble. Um, but again, um, it, it's fun to do something like that if, or you could have in the same way that these are paint skins, you could have made like a hybrid, a paper and paint skin instead of using gel medium use the paint to make it into a skin and then you would have these colors peeking through depending on the kind of paint you have if it's really translucent um, then it, these colors would peer through and then that would add another element to your collage 
Um, this is just the same stuff, but you know, in the mat, and you can see the difference. It just is on your personal preference, which you like more. It's harder to see with the paper towel, but you, I hope you can see that there's much more of a sheen here. Depends on what your personal preference is. I like, I prefer matte. Um, and again, you can still see some of the color peeking through the areas that don't have any additional color. And very similar to the tissue paper, you can see all that coming through as well. And use that for collage. Nothing different here. Um, it's not going to be as see-through. You can get a glimpse of it in the dark areas that it kind of comes through uh, where it's not printed. Again, it's just matte, so you can use both. And then here's the creamy colored craft paper. Again, you could do something with additional paint as your medium rather than the gel medium. And then here is the paper, the craft paper version of that. So let's take a look at our acrylic skins. So the first thing we did is we made, we created a shape out of this first one. And um, these are really um, kind of sticky on the back side where they were against the plastic they adhere really nicely to things if I, I this paint is not as translucent if it was when it was thicker you could still see things through you can only see a little bit coming through on this but these are great fun to add to pieces and you would uh, essentially just re-glue these with a gel medium, which is the base of what really paint is. It's an acrylic medium. So these could be applied to something that you're working on as layers, color layers. Um, here's another one where we mixed the colors uh, along the way. That's a lot of fun. I like to do these uh, skins. I like to do them in um, real translucent colors so that it comes through. But you can get an idea of how fun those could be used. Um, you can see some of the stuff coming through that because that yellow is quite um, see-through on the thinner areas like over here. Um, I don't know if you could really see that, but it comes through. Um, now, a fun thing to do, and this is, it would have been neat if I thought of doing a swirly one with um, the glossy clear, um, like a little bit a swirl of the purple in it. But this is completely clear, and if it had a swirl of purple through it, that would have been really cute. Um, cool layer. I don't know if you can see that there because it kind of is totally transparent. Um, this is the one that I did with the matte gel with a little bit of swirl of paint and you can kind of see that stuff coming through. It was done thicker. It's not as clear as the gloss was. But right there, you can definitely see how that could be fun. They also add an element of texture when you use them as collage on pieces because they do have this shape that if used in your bottom layers, like your paper, it will show that shape if you add to it. Now these are, I did them a little on the thin side. Let's see if I can get this off. Oh yeah, that came off nicely. Um, they could definitely be used um, in your layers just like the other and these will be intense colorful ones be careful they will stick to themselves um, so uh, just be aware of that when you use them if they fold over make sure you get that unfolded pretty quickly or they will adhere to each other permanently it is acrylic I don't know if you can see that really well, but you can see that texture coming through that yellow. 
it was a little bit more uh, translucent than the purple was. And then we made some with the, um, the te coarse texture gel and where the texture, where the sand was not, it's more clear than where it is. And these are loads of fun. This is what I do a lot is to create these and then use them as collage elements. You can see through below them in certain areas, but this is adding huge amounts of texture in shapes. So um, that is a lot of fun to use those. Um, I'm gonna do is let me go grab, I have some samples to show you of some, some skins being used in um, an art journal. So let me get that and we'll be right back. Okay, so this is pretty old. This was a journal I did in 2015. And this is a skin that I created um, using heavy gel medium. And I layered this up really a lot. And I made two skins facing two different directions. So I freehand drew a bird silhouette and then I flipped it and traced it going the other direction so that I could have the skins on both sides of this flap. So that is um, how I use the skin in this um, quite a long time ago. Um, but that is a lot of fun. It uh, definitely, I drew that um, shape and then I had the two and I just added the um, gel medium and, um, onto um, a piece of glossy um, page protector on top that was placed on top of the drawing that I had done. So that is how I used a skin in this art journal page. Um, lots of fun, lots of fun. All right, I don't know if you can see these really well. This has been layered up. So these are skins, the, the clearer part here. Um, I used on this, I used the uh, matte gel medium and did like donut shapes on the clear plastic. I laid those down um, after I collaged this background and added color, then I laid those down and then I came back in with color and then took a white um, mar uh, acrylic marker and did circled around them and embedded them kind of in this piece. It's hard to see on this one um, because they can really get um, embedded if I can find it here it is it's hard to see because this is um, but you can see how uh, kind of creamy the color is the white is so that's what I did on these um, and that's how I used it on this page um, or on this layout so that's another example of it being used uh, within as uh, elements of your collage to get a different look. All right, this one is pretty old. This is a craft paper that I created a, a shape of like a mountain range uh, out of, uh, and then I made it into a skin and I layered it in here and then I took advantage of the texture and used some um, crayons, some water soluble crayons over the top of to gain some texture. Um, and that is um, a skin that was made using the craft paper. I'm just checking to see if there's anything else skins being used in this journal. Mm, not really anymore but i do have a piece a, a canvas piece and let me go grab that and i will show you um, some additional skins being used now 
some of these circles are grunge board some of them are paper and some of them are acrylic skins that i made using a circular stencil similar to this but these were made using gel medium so i used the matte gel medium um, i used a plastic palette uh, base substrate to use the stencil and similar to how i did these i did all these the lower circles that are at the lowest level of this and then on top of those i layered paper ones and then on top of that i layered the grunge board pieces um, that are at the top here and so that's how i um, created that real textural different levels and layers to this tree um, in this canvas piece. So that's a good example um, of a non-art journal way that it was used. They can be used on canvases um, or on um, cradle board or any additional kind of uh, substrate that you would do normal mixed media on. So they're pretty versatile. You can use them in many ways. Um, depending on what you are, are looking for. My suggestion is that you sit down and you play with them um, and make yourself a variety of skins and store them inside um, the plastic page protector so they don't can't stick to each other. Um, and be real careful. I suggest you open it on one end so you can lift it up to pull them out because they're going to get a little stuck in there. Um, and then just make yourself a variety of them in paper and in um, paint or gel medium or coarse texture gel or any of the texture gels, uh, mediums. And then just sit down and start playing with them and see how you like to use them. Mine came about just by pure um, experimentation. I just experimented with them and found different ways that I like to use them. Yeah, I hope this has been helpful for you to kind of just not only explain um, what paper and um, paint skins are, but additional ways you can use them as well as um, different things that you can use to make them um, and has been helpful and an, an idea of something more that you can take to your um, artwork, whether it's um, hung pieces or even art journaling stuff. So yeah, uh, go out there and uh, have fun with them.